we have artwork number 34 here. It's the Doriforos by Polycleotos, a Roman copy in marble. Greek original is made of bronze. Creation date of 450 to 440 BCE. Originally found in Pompeii, currently in the Museo Archaeological... I have no idea how to say that. Naples, Italy. It stands at 6 foot 11, and it shows a figure standing in place to where it can be holding a spear, but the spear has been lost. The person who created it was Polycletos, and he used the Polycletos Canon of Proportions, which is a mathematical formula where the human body was divided into measured parts related to one another. And it has symmetria, which is a sense of proportion and balance, exercise and contrast, and state of equilibrium. Historical context, the Polycleotos was a master Greek sculptor during the high classical period. He famously developed his canon, which he, he deemed as the ideal human form based on mathematical proportions in which the spear bearer exemplifies. In fact, the Greek original of the spear bearer was named Canon. Characteristics of the spear bearer would define much of a high classical Greek art and set the foundation of Western beauty. When Roman, when Roman began to work, began to conquer Greek cities in 211 BCE, the Roma administration of Greek art meant Romans would seek to recreate it using marble instead of a process called lost wax casting. Thus, the spear bearer was made into a Roman copy in 120 to 50 BCE. The Greek original sculpted by Polycletus was used as a tribute to his canon. Beyond this, any actual greater function is unknown. In the Roman copy, it was found in a palestra in Pompeii, likely to inspire exercising athletes. Other copies have been found, which archaeologists hypothesize might have been displayed in home amongst other art for receiving guests. The context of the spear bearer is an example of Polycleotos' canon, which it is in a chiastic stance. Idealism in the spear bearer is reflected on the emphasis of heroic nudity and undistinguishable facial features, which people were meant to sought to attain. The sculptor is nude, which the sculpture is nude, in which is a characteristic of Greek art is an effort to distinguish themselves from barbarian neighbors. Form the spear bearer is standing in contra aposto, in which one leg is relaxed as the weight rests in the other. Diagonal from each respective leg, one arm is relaxed as well, and the other is hypothesized to be holding a long spear. The hip and shoulder tip up in op opposite directions. This gives a sense of realism and movement, since the spear bearer is meant to depict a young warrior, an image of vitality and are raped. Learn. Yeah. The spear bearer is a good example of how artists manipulate materials and ideas to create an aesthetic object. The original Greek bronze would have allowed the spear bear to be a sculpture in the round, in which the Roman marble copy could not achieve. Because it is of embodiment of Polycleotos' canon, the spear bear is meant to be an object of perfection, or as the Greeks call it, kalos. As later artists would strive to for rat, the spear bear always remains a reference point. The spear bearer is a good example of how artists manipulate materials and ideas to create aesthetic object. The spear bearer was critical to the development of high classical Greek art and representation of the Greek array. The contrapposto stance is really rather revolutionary considering its later influence in Western art. As with most high classical art, the spear bearer is an embodiment of idealism from its body form to the facial features that are reminiscent of the archaic smile. Overall, the spear bearer gives a sense of motion and energy while being removed and distant from mortality. Polycletus likely wanted to bring his canon of proportions to life, which he clearly accomplished since later he and his contemporaries went on to establish an extremely popular school of sculpture. The spear bearer was likely 
an idol of the human form, likewise to that of current body icons like supermodels, athletes, and celebrities. Thus, this shows both a continuity and change to the idea of perfection.